I wanted our characters in this film to be very close to ourselves in order to keep as much true story as possible, which is why we kept our real names in this film. We could say that we are playing ourselves, uh, but we are still quite different from our characters in real life. It was a very big challenge for me, uh, as it was my first feature film. And there were so many action scenes to prep for, uh, but very little time to do so. Not to mention the fact that a French guy speaking in English uh, can be a big challenge too. I didn't really have any idea what I was getting into. I, I, I was going originally for a smaller role and then ended up getting this amazing, you know, supporting slash lead role with the main other three characters. So what are we supposed to do here? Case of the trap. I had just moved to LA and action was like my thing. Physical, you know, anything that had to do with, you know, fighting or, you know, rolling around or guns or, you know, whatever it took to portray what I really want out here, this movie had it. My character is a filmmaker uh, and they capture uh, two girls that belong to these guys. And let's tell these guys to do things if they want these two girls back. So I get them to rob a bank, uh, I get them to run from the cops, I get them to do whatever I want to get them. Much more than you think. Yeah, no, we're late. You know, you're just in time. Producing a movie is never an easy task, uh, even more so when doing an action one, as uh, shooting a fight scene or action in general takes much longer than uh, drama. So with uh, co-producer Steven Gorel, we really had to make sure that nothing was left to chance in order to squeeze all those fight scenes within our budget. We are at the very end of the uh, DDA fighting uh, scene with Wuku, which is playing the role of Chan. I knew I was gonna have a long and intense fight scene. You and your brother will die tonight. And only a few days to rehearse and shoot it. So I was really hoping that I would get an opponent with who I could connect very fast. And lucky me, my opponent was a talented martial artist, uh, Sin Goku. Our main background in martial arts is Chinese Kung Fu. Uh, however, in our fight choreography, we always try to integrate techniques from different martial arts. Uh, we've tried to come up with our own style of portraying fight choreography on screen. Uh, I at least trained for about two or three weeks before we started shooting and it was it was painful because just the first week I think all I did was stretch and they had me doing these crazy stretches and you know I, I'm not a flexible guy at all. I'm big 225, not limber. And these guys are doing head kicks and straight legs and splits and I'm still like, you know, working out and pumping weights and all of a sudden I'm in a dojo doing crazy things with my body that I never thought I'd be doing. Uh, I choreographed all the fights and action scenes, but we co-choreographed the two final fights uh, with Lauren and Didier. The hardest fight to choreograph was a final fight. We made that fight back when we were in China. I wanted this fight to be very intense and grow more and more dramatic during the scene, so the audience could really feel that both our characters are using all their skill to win. There are also many long sequences in this scene and difficult moves. 